On the 1st of May, British ships near Port Stanley come under attack by A-4 Skyhawks and Mirage Daggers of the Argentine Air Force. Using conventional bombs, the low-flying Argentine planes damage two British warships, the HMS Alacrity and the HMS Glamorgan. The Royal Navy responds quickly as Harrier jump jets are vaulted into an unfamiliar role, downing enemy aircraft. The most powerful fighter deployed from Argentine bases was the French-built Mirage 3. On the afternoon of May 1st, Argentine Mirages and British Sea Harriers come head-to-head -head in the first aerial combat of the war. In order to win a dogfight, a pilot needs to engage the enemy within the parameters of speed and altitude that best exploit the advantages of his own plane. The Sea Harrier is most effective against the Mirage in a medium-altitude, close-combat dogfight. Aware of this, Argentine pilots attempt to lure the Sea Harriers into the high-altitude, high-speed engagement advantageous to the Mirage. But British pilots hold their altitude, and for several hours, both sides avoid confrontation. Then, late in the afternoon, the Argentine Air Force launches a large-scale attack against the British task force. After another brief period of shadow boxing, a pair of mirages plunge downward to take on the British Sea Harriers. Lieutenant Paul Barton manages to get behind one of the mirages. Unleashing his sidewinder, Barton scores the first aerial combat victory of the war.